Hi, I'm Tom Olesic uh, with Easy Marketing. And one of the questions we get asked on a regular basis is how do I update my Google My Business listing? So I wanna share with you uh, really just a how-to video of exactly where you go, how you do it, and um, uh, give you some great information so you can do a lot of things yourself. So um, in case you're wondering, your Google My Business listing is when you Google a company name, um, this listing will appear on the uh, right hand side. So it has some photos, it has a link to your website, driving directions, uh, your reviews, uh, click to your phone number. Um, so we, had, we shot a video on why this is important. So uh, we'll link over to that as well. But this video is on how do you update all this information that's in here. So the first thing you do is you have to find how you get to your Google My Business listing. So what you do is um, just go to Google and type in Google My Business. And then you're gonna click on the link and you're gonna log into your Google account. So if you don't have uh, a Google account associated with your listing, uh, give us a call and we'll help you walk through that. Um, but for this video, we'll assume that you can get into and log into that account. So this is what it looks like when you've logged into your Google My Business account. Um, the first, uh, your homepage is really a little dashboard about um, what you can do within the, with, within the listing. So you can create a post, you can add a photo, you can create Google AdWords, and it literally will show you some recent performance of, of what's occurred, so how many people have viewed it, they've searched for it, uh, your most recent post that you've put, um, what your reviews are. Um, so this is a pretty neat little dashboard. Uh, so let's dig in. Um, we're gonna start with info. So this is how do you control the information um, that you see here. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. All right, so you can click on any one of these uh, icons here. So this is your um, edit this information. And Google's letting you pick a category. So uh, the site we're looking at is Easy Computer Solutions. It's uh, one of the other businesses that we own that does uh, computer repair for uh, local small to mid-sized companies. So we picked a primary category here of computer support and services. Then it lets us select additional categories. So we typed in computer repair service. Um, let's just go ahead and see what else we can do here. So if I type in computer, I can do computer service. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, let's add another one and I'll just type in computer again. Uh, computer consultant, that applies. Um, and you know what, let's type in uh, network, uh, business networking company, computer network center. Uh, none of those seem to really apply. Uh, let's type in security. car security, computer security service. So let's add that one. Um, once you're done adding services that seem to make sense to you, then just go ahead and click apply. And then it adds it into the list. Um, so put as many in here as, as you think are relevant. Always put the primary one as what you think is the most relevant uh, service category so that Google will start to look at this and say, who are you and what, you know, what services do you provide? Okay, then you get to type your address in. Uh, you can tell Google what hours you're open. So in this case, we're open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to five, so that's accurate. If you had any kind of special hours, uh, you could add that in. So let's say your retail location and you're open uh, later on Black Friday, you could add that in. You've got a spot for your phone number, for your web address, and there's also this appointment URL. So let's go ahead and let's add an appointment URL. So if I go to um, our main company site and I go to our get a quote, which is really kind of our appointment URL, I'll copy that and we're gonna go back over to the listing and say add URL and we're just gonna put that right in there. There we go. Okay, then it has a section for services. So this is if you actually can say this is this is a service and here's a price associated with it. So in this case, I don't actually have one, but if you did have um, something that you have the name for it, what the price is, and then a description of that, um, you could certainly add that in there. 
Uh, but for here, we're not going to add that in. So let's go back to our section. All right, and you'll see as we go back and forth, it retains the information that you had put in there. Um, you can look at what attributes it allows you to add. Now, Google predefines based on your business what, um, what potential attributes they'll let you add in here. So um, if it's in the list, you can add it. Um, these don't apply uh, to our business here, so we're just going to say cancel. Um, but if they did apply to your business, you just go ahead and click on them. Okay, and then we can add a business description. We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so you can tell Google whatever you want about your business. So in this case, and in many cases, um, you're going to really take the information that you had on your homepage, and you're going to put that in there. So uh, let's uh, we'll copy paste this and put that in there. And uh, let's add this in here as well. Uh, and then say apply. And this could be, you could write this unique. Um, in most cases, you know, we've spent so much time uh, refining the copy on the homepage that that's really probably the copy that you're going to put uh, in, that, in that area. Um, you can add a date that your business opened if you want. Uh, and you can also add additional photos. Um, everything on the side here is, is, is more than likely going to be accurate. If you see anything that looks odd, um, you can, you can uh, look to edit that. But um, uh, that's the basics of the, the information that you can give Google for your Google My, for your Google My Business listing. Now, um, let's also talk here about uh, posts and photos. So um, posts are a really, really neat uh, thing for you to do. Um, they expire every seven days. So anything you put in here uh, will disappear from the home screen. So let's just go back to understand where this goes. So this is your Google My Business post. Um, so you can see in my listing here, um, this was my last post and we posted this, uh, it looks like yesterday. Um, it will also show you um, any kind of metrics that occurred. Um, so you can see this post that we posted at the beginning of September got uh, 13 views. Um, this one got 13 views. Um, so really what we're trying to do is post here every week. Um, but let's go ahead and, um, and put a new post in there. So a post is anything that, you know, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's you're promoting an ebook that you've written, um, maybe it's just a special or a coupon or just a little announcement that you want to have. Um, so you can use posts in lots of different ways. And they actually have different categories um, of posts. So you can say something that's a what's new. If you have an event, uh, you can post that. If you have something that's like a special offer that you're having, you can put it there. And then they have product posts as well. Um, but for the most part, we just look at kind of more of a general uh, kind of post. So, so for us, let's promote, um, let's promote one of our eBooks here. So um, we're going to promote the uh, Secure Your Network um, eBook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy what I want here. And I'm going to say, write your post. And you put in the copy that you want in the post. Um, then you have the opportunity to do a photo. Now, I saved a photo on my desktop. Let me, uh, let me find that here. And you can drag that over. Um, hang on, where did, where did my save button go? No, I guess it didn't, uh, didn't drag that over. Hang on, let's try that again. Oh, and it disappeared. Well, so now you get to see what, what, what happens in the real world. Things don't always go exactly as perfect. So um, we're just, you know what, we're gonna click on this. Oh, there, I didn't, I didn't open it first. I was dragging too soon. All right, so you drag it there and you can crop it. Um, so, so I have what I want, um, my photo, and then I also have this um, add a button. So I'm gonna add the learn more button. So you have, you have different options that you can select from. The learn more button is gonna take you to the website. So I'm gonna take you to well, my actual landing page for this. And see, learn more and you're gonna paste the URL in there. 
And then what you can do is you can say preview. So I always like to preview it first just to make sure that I got it all. Um, so here's what the post is gonna look like. Um, it goes to the learn more and you can see down here in the footer that it's going to the right place. And then you say publish. And then it takes, um, you know, I've seen it post live to your site fairly instantaneously and other times I've seen it take a couple hours to, um, to post through. Um, but then eventually you're going to see it here. Let's just hit refresh and see what actually does happen. All right. So it didn't post it there right away. So um, eventually we'll be able to come back and, and what will happen is it'll be two side by side. So you'll have two, they'll display two of your posts um, and then you can view more posts um, that are there. All right. So that's how you do a post. Then what you also have is photos. So you can load whatever photos you want. So you can see um, an ebook, um, some of our engineers are building, uh, the book that we published, our crazy wrapped card that you see. Um, so uh, let's see, you're gonna click on this little plus symbol. So a little less intuitive than maybe you would like, right? Um, and then you can drop and drag a photo over to this. Um, and then it instantly shows up in the list. And then it should show up pretty quick here in our see photos category. And let's see where it put that photo. And there it is. So that's the photo. This is the photo that we uploaded. Uh, so that's how you upload photos. Now, we really recommend that you're doing a post a week and that you're doing a photo every week. So Google wants to see that you've got involvement and that you're actively managing your profile. Um, so those are our tips for how you manage the information that you have, how you upload a post, and how you upload a photo. So uh, hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Um, we do have fully managed Google My Business uh, uh, listings as well. So we can do all this for you if you're looking at this going, yeah, Tom, this is great, but this is just way, way too much work. I'm not going to do that. Can you guys just take care of it for us? Um, we're happy to do that. So um, uh, give us a call if you have any questions and uh, we're happy to help out. Thanks so much.